Good evening. Good. Today is August 14th, 2014. Thursday. I am speaking with Mrs. Fazilatun Nessa, or most, most of us call her Putun. Um, and this interview is being done in New York City. Uh, Putul, um, what's your desh? Desh kotha hai? Bangladesh. And in Bangladesh? Dhaka. And in Dhaka, is it Dhaka city itself? Yes. So were you born in Dhaka? Yes. Uh, and you grew up in Dhaka. What neighborhood? What part? Buet. Mm, uh, Buet quarter. Buet quarter. Buet is Bangladesh University of Engineering Te and Technology. Technology. Uh, yes. So, um, uh, but your family lived in in Dhaka for many many generations, or they were there for for some time. From 40, 1948. 48. And what 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 did they live before that? Before that. Jamshedpur. Jamshedpur. So are there Jamshedpur is in Bihar now? Yeah. Now called um, Jharkhand. Were the native of uh, Jamshedpur? No. Were native of? Native of Kumilla. Kumilla. Dhaka, Bangladesh. Kumilla and what? Is it the city of Kumilla or, or any village? Village. What village? Brahmanbaria. Brahmanbaria is subdivision within that. Novinagar. Novinagar. But Novinagar is also an area. So do you know how many generations did they live, live there? How many generations uh, they lived in Novinagar? I don't know. Many generations. Many generations, okay. And how, how long did they live in Jamshedpur? Why did they live in Jamshedpur? My father was working the Tata Company. Tata Company. So what was his profession? Engineering. Engineering. Yeah. And uh, and so, uh, what's his name? Shamsuddin. Shamsuddin Ahmed. Ahmed. And uh, what is, what's your mother's name? Sophia. Sophia Ahmed. Uh, so she was also an engineer? Or she no. Was, homemaker. She, ha, ha, homemaker, housewife. How many brothers and sisters were you? You had four sister, one brother. Four sister. So, 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 do you know? Have you ever heard why did he move from from Jamshedpur to to Dhaka? Liberation. To can Pakistan, um, uh, India was divided. Divided. So why did so he? So they came to his country. He came to his country. Okay, but but was he pushed out of Jamshedpur, or or, or was he? Did he come by 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 his interest that he wanted to come to Dhaka? Pakistan. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but okay. I think they had a choice whether choice. he wanted to stay or not. Yeah, yeah. There were many, many people were given choice whether they live, want to live oh. in this place. So, so once he left Jamshedpur, he came to Dhaka, and 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 since then he was at the Buet, or from there. It was then co uh, college, Arsenal Engineering. Arsenal Engineering yeah. College. Okay. So, um, tell us about your neighborhood, the Buet. How was the how when you grew up? How did it feel like? How was it like? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um, so, so you did you used to go to go to school nearby? Yes. No, where did you go to school? Ajimpur. Ajimpur. Full name. Full name of the school. Ajimpur Girls High School. Ajimpur. How far was it from your house? Walking distance. Not Walking. Far. Did you did you did you used to walk? Walk, yes. By yourself or with your friends? My oh. sisters. Sisters. They were they were older to you? Yes. So they guided you. So yeah. uh, so how many years did you go to school there? Ten years. Ten years. Then you, after you finished, did you go to college? Yes. Which Where did you go to school? Eden Girls College. Eden Girls College. Well, that's where my mother went mm -hmm. when it was starting. Anyway. So, um, so, uh, so as you're growing up, um, uh, so tell us your life uh, around your neighborhood. It was nice, but you know, any 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 special uh, thing that you remember? Uh, nice, good, bad, whatever. No, oh, very nice. Uh, at night, we used to sit outside. Okay. And uh, one of the English teacher used to tell us the story with all kids around. So oh, really? Sitting. The boys and girls? Everybody. Every, and was it a mixed community? Muslim Muslim or, or Hindu Muslim too? Both? Oh, I don't remember any Hindu. Or, no. or Christian or Muslim. Buddhist? No. Mostly it's no. Muslim. 
all those things. Okay. So, so there was no separation in terms of boys and girls going? No, when I was young, I didn't see any. But when I was, yeah, when I was in third grade, there was a Hindu family, but they didn't have kids. Okay. There was Ramendu Mojumdar's brother. Oh, okay. He was an engineer. Okay, so he was, he was, uh, their family lived in Buet. Buet, he was a teacher. Okay, he was a teacher, okay. Um, so, so as you're growing up, um, do you recall any special incident because people tell me there was some things happened in 64, 65, 71. Where did you, did you have any memory of 71? 71, yes, 71 night when the uh, bombing, firing started, we had to hide under the bed. Did you? Yes. All of you? Yes. And your, your parents too? Yes. And so how long did you, did you hide? Until the firing stopped, then um, next night we didn't stay there. Okay. We, we, we went to the village. So how did you go to the village? Walking, boat. How long did it take? Which village did you go to? To your Nobinagar? No. No. Arti. Like when you cross the river. Buriganga? From Dhaka. No, it's not Buriganga. It's a branch of Buriganga. Okay. So we went up. The name of the village was Arti. Arti. So, so, so tell me how did you, how was your journey from your home? Who led, the, led you? Oh, well, for me, my father, my mother. So how did you go to the, to the, to the river bank? We walked, then we crossed the river with the boat. And was there? Again walking. So was the, the situation, what was the situation like as you were walking? So when we went to the river, we saw people, thousands, I don't know how many people. It's like from the up there, it looked like ants. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. thousands and thousands of fleeing. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, the boats are coming and going yes, co yes. continually. Everybody was running out from Dhaka city. Yes. So how long did, you, did it take you to go from your home to Buet to that river bank? No, when we it was when we lived in Rayarbazar. Oh, that my father you... retired. Okay, so oh, we fine. came to Rayarbazar. Okay, then from there we were. Oh, I Seventy-one. See. He was retired. Yeah, so Rayarbazar. So Rayarbazar, you went to the river bank, hmm. and so your father led, and the, the situation there was no bombing then, right? There was no attack. Daytime, on... no, 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 not daytime. So at night, did you see daytime. anything, any damage or any, any, any casualties? So. So then, all right. So then you, then you no. cross. On, I think the damage was done only de near the Dhaka University. University, but you didn't yeah. see through your own eyes. No. Okay. So as you cross the river, uh, so you go on the other side, and then that's uh, that's Manikanj, right? Ati, not Manikanj. Oh, it's, it's part of the well, Manikanj subdivision, close, yes, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so how far was the village from from that bank? Close. Just you get off. Oh, so why did you go to that village? Who lived there? Nobody. I didn't know. We didn't know anybody. Oh, just went there. Yes. Uh, so and then what did you do? What did you stay when in the When we night? reached there, my uncle was with me. He he's a professor in Dhaka, Dhaka okay. College. Okay. So he had a student there. Oh. He saw the teacher. He said, "Come to my house." So oh. he took us in there. So you stayed there how long? One night. And then? Then after. And the day after, we walked again. Then we went to Manikanj to my sister's How house. long did it take you to walk? Walk, not only walk, boat. Okay. Some one day. Across some of the, some of the rivers you had to go across yeah, by boat. One day. So it took one day. So did you carry food with you? Or did you buy no, food? No, no. So you didn't eat anything all day? No, no. There's no way. <laughs> okay. So, so your father carried some money and and so there were other people also going like you yes a lot of people lot of people. so what did you where did you go to Manikanj? what what did you so where, where in Manikanj did Manikanj, you go Manikanj, this is um, the name of the village is singjuri singjuri and then uh, and singjuri how why did you go to singjuri my sister lived there sister lived there okay so so also then 
you received it. What did she say when they saw you? I think they heard about it okay. because the radio. They okay. heard it from. They the expected radio, so. that you're coming. No. No. They but then. Phone. But so so so. They, but when they saw you. Yeah, they were surprised. Yes. Surprised. So how long did you stay there? I think three four months. Three four months. So then by that time, so this is when you crossed was in March, right? Right after the yes, first March. crackdown. So did you on your way? Was the area peaceful? Was there any, 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 any sign of any war or any no, action? No. no, Pakistani army didn't go to village that time. Okay. They started to go outside the Dhaka mm -hmm. in April, May, April. April May. By the time you're already in Singjuri. Yes. And so you're staying there. So you, you're not going to school, are you? No. Singjuri. No. So so. Uh, the family is providing for food and recreation, all, all this thing. Uh, and what did your father? Your father also stayed there for that yes, that long. Yeah. So, uh, was there any communication with Dhaka or his, his place no, of job? No, no, no. No. Okay. He uh, he was retired, so he came oh, only okay. only to get his pension. Okay. So he had to come to Dhaka. Was it risky? Yes. We didn't come. Only him and his my mother. So together, together they're coming. They came. How did they used to come? Do you remember? Yeah, boat, then by bus. Bus. Well, they they were never harmed. No. They were no. they were they would come to uh, come to your home in Rai Bajar. And they got the money and they went back. And they would go back. And what happened to your home in Rai Bajar? Burglary. Burglary. Was it? Was it? Uh, did you return there after? Uh, yes. When did you return? I think May, June, I don't remember the date. We May. came again, but again in December we we had to go back. Again you went back to Singjuri? Because when India India was throwing bomb on Dhaka, mm -hmm. a lot of noise, we couldn't stay in there. Yeah. So then you fled again? Again. In the same same way? Same way, yes. Okay. And and But what change did you see when you came back? Three four months after three four months into into Rai Bajar, and then before you left again, when you came back after three four months, you said there were there were robberies. All your all your possessions were gone, or there yes, were some. Yes. Every clothes, especially. What about clothes. furniture and? Furniture other was there. No, furniture. They didn't take furniture, but only the clothes they did. Uh, but you were able to uh, come back. Uh, that was a rented house, or no, they no, bought no, it. No. So. So you were able to come back to your own yes. house. So, so otherwise, how was the because three four months, then war has 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 been going on. So how was the life like to be living in the midst of a war? You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, we didn't see any difference in the okay. life. Okay. It was normal. Okay. But at night everybody was scared okay. because they can come. Okay. And once only once. Army came hmm. to check hmm. with Albadar. Okay. They came to check our house. And and so they they were asking my brother hmm. how many times he went to India. Hmm. He he was only in ninth grade. Hmm. Teenager, fourteen, fifteen yeah. something. So and he was younger to you? Younger. Oh. Okay. So, and they saw us, they saw, they saw us, me and my sister. Mm -hmm. So my mother said, okay, they saw the two girls here, they're going to come at night again. Mm. So we ran again. Oh. Which month it was, I don't remember. I think it was then, 27. Of December or November, whatever, that because you see, December it was liberated. Mm. So, so when they came and they were checking me out, that same night, same, same day, we we left. Oh, it was so terrible. So they can come again at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know if they came again? You don't know no. because you are gone already. Yeah. Uh, but Rai Bajar also was a mixed community. There were a lot of. 
I understand there were a lot of Hindus, Hindus. too. So were they still there when you came back? Or did you may not have noticed? I don't think so. They were there. Okay. So, so, um, so, where were you when the the country was sixteenth of Ma December? Where were you? In Manikanj. Manikanj. So, how was how did you get that news? Radio. Radio. And how was your feeling like? Yeah, happy. Everybody was happy. So, so, so. So, what was your parents? What did, did, did your parents think they were going to do uh, at that point, sixteenth? Like we were going to come back, and then so we have you to came back me. immediately. Yes. And was coming back was it any better than before? Because you came back after three four months. So that journey and then the journey after sixteenth was there any difference? Yeah, everybody was happy. No pressure, mental pressure or something. Okay. Before there was a check post near okay. the river. Okay. They used to check everybody. Okay. So, but the check post was gone. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, so, so, um, so you, your family, because they came from Jamshedpur to Dhaka, was there, was, did they feel ever in, ever any, discrimination or anything that is came comes from migrated from India into Bangladesh? No, no, know? but my mother always talked about Jamshedpur like that was a heaven. Mm -hmm. Did they ever go back to visit Jamshedpur? <laughs> no, no. Did you? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, ta you know, there is a very nice she, township. That she, she was young then, her first married life was there, yeah. so she, she talked about, like, the way she was happy there, I think. Yeah, yeah, we would like to, okay. Um, so, um, in this, uh, this uh, time, so you didn't see any 71, particularly, you didn't see any Killing. physical violence. No, no. You didn't. Um, um, did you when you came back because Rai Rai Bajar also has this killing field. Yeah, I know. Did you did you go go visit that place? No, when I left, no, it was not built like that. Okay, no. okay, yeah, no. Well, later on, no, later, yeah. Yes, yes. Um, so when you go back now, do you stay in Rai Bajar or do you stay somewhere else? No, Danmandi. Danmandi. That's where. Uh, you, who who is who lives in Danmandi now? My sister. Sister. So you stay with your sister. What happened to your house at Rai Bajar? Oh, they they're building a it, it, developer is building a multi-story apartment. But that's your that's in your property. Did you yes. sell them, or or, no, or in my property? So so did you sell them, or they're doing on your behalf? On my behalf. Yes, so our is, behalf. Or you see your brother's brother doing it, or your or somebody else? Who is the main developer? Uh, another developer, my okay. developer is my cousin. Cousin, so. okay, great, great, great. Um, <clears throat> let me, have you ever gone to <clears throat> West Bengal in India? No. no. So you know. No chance. Because <clears throat> I was going to ask you I if, if you find go. any difference uh, between that culture, and if you didn't go, then I'm no. not going to ask. Uh, <clears throat> let me ask you, you know, Bengal was divided. Uh, one into, which is Bangladesh now, East Pakistan, now Bangladesh, which is Muslim majority. And the other part of Bengal is in West Bengal, which is in the majority. Do you think anybody benefited because of partition of Bengal? It could be rich, poor, Hindus, Muslims. It could be West Bengalis, West Bengalis. Um, you know, did anybody benefit because Bengal was divided? You may not have thought about it. Yeah, I never thought about it, yeah. Because I was born in East Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. So. But because it's a bigger question, because they were together, so whether or not it was any difference. Um, but what I heard that people say, when it was together, especially Muslim people say, Hindus were dominating mm -hmm. the Muslims. Mm -hmm. Like, in village, mm -hmm. every village in East Bengal, there was a Jamidar, mm -hmm. especially Hindu. Mm -hmm. 
and Muslim cannot go past their house mm -hmm. with the shoes on. Mm -hmm. Hindu, mm -hmm. Jamidar, this kind of stories mm -hmm. I heard, I never saw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so when... So they discriminated Pakistan, against, against, um, against Muslims, Muslims, many of them. Muslims, yeah. yes. So do you think, do you think Muslim, there are a lot of Muslim uh, uh, Jamidars also, Jamidars? Lo oh, not not much. Few, but there were many. Few. Yeah. And it, that main problem was Muslims were treated like lower caste mm -hmm. by the mm -hmm. Jamidars. Yeah. Or so so is it is it do you think Muslim Jamindars treated poor Muslims differently than than poor Hindus? There are a lot of but poor Hindus. The question too. is there was not much Muslim Jamindar. Yeah. Only some, some. Not much. Yeah, in Lorgan Borisal, you had the big, very big Jamidar. Was at, that, at that time, that's what I had. Yeah, yeah no, no, it's true. Only rich people were Hindus. Muslims yeah. were yeah. poor. Even, even, yeah, even um, the teachers, doctors, accountants. All Hindus, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They're overwhelmingly. That's no question, yes. So, um, do you think then, that brings me to the other question. Do you think, can Hindus and Muslims, if they live together, can they live together? Yes, they live together. Okay. Of course, they live together. Like, well, when my husband was working in Madaripur College, mm -hmm. I was there. There, he had all his friends Hindu. Mm -hmm. They were living there with no problem. Yes. Okay. So I'm almost at the very end. So is that something else you want to add that I didn't ask you? Do you have anything that comes to your mind that I didn't ask you? Yeah, the, about you, you. You tried to ask me about the Hindu and Muslim, but this is. A but problem. also, also Bangladesh becoming independence, Pakistan is Pakistan becoming independent, Bangladesh becoming all kinds of things. So yes, if we can talk about that also, that's fine. That is, if I didn't cover anything, is there anything you want to say? No, not much. No. <laughs> okay. So when you go back to Bangladesh now. How many, after how many years you went back to Bangladesh? You went recently, right? Yes. So, how did you feel like as you went? Was it enchanting? Was it easy? Was it difficult? Was it, um, so how did you feel like? Difficult only the streets. No, no, I'm asking, I'm giving all choices. So what do you think when you went back? How, after how many years did you go back? This time I went one after one year. Oh, one year is not it. Then uh, first, uh, before that I went for after 14 years. So, how, how did you feel when you went back after 14 years? Yeah, different, big difference. Crowded. Crowded. Traffic jam. That's the main problem. Yeah. But still it was nice to be home. Yes. Right? But I see how it is my country now. Well, TV, I watch TV so I mm -hmm. can see everything now. Yes, 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 that's what the... Ttv does that to you don't feel you're away yeah. thank you very much thank you